hi children welcome to vian school i am maithili here now i told no that divisibility test how to do it in class work you should do that assignment 7 okay assignment 7 write like this okay and circle the numbers which are divisible by 3 okay write the heading like this and take each and every number in the column okay which is this is assignment 7 is in page number page number 194 okay 194 okay see in this what look here this is assignment 7 page number 194 look here here it is given like this so you can't get the space to do whether the number is what divisible by 3 or not so what you should do you should do it in your class work like this okay write assignment 7 write the heading and take each and every number see here first number 27 27 no yeah you write 27 like this and so since it is divisible we are going to check the divisible by 3 no so what we should do we should add the digits 2 plus 7 what are all the digits 2 7 so add it 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 so 9 is divisible by 3 yes it is coming in three table 3 is on 9 So twenty-seven is also divisible by three. Okay, so okay, understand in this way. You should do each and every number for each and every number. Next, what is the number? Seventeen. Okay, take it like this. Seventeen and add the digits. One plus seven is equal to eight. Eight is not divisible by three. So seventeen is also not divisible by three. So in this way, you should do it in your class work. Then it will be easy for you. Okay, so you do the all the. what assignments that is nothing but assignment 6 assignment 7 assignment 8 assignment 9 and 10 okay in your class work they write each and every digit and check whether the number is given what divisible by the what divisible by 3 4 or 5 or 10 okay come we'll do the next what divisibility test see what is the next test test of divisibility by 4 okay Test of divisibility by four. Now, in this, we are going to check whether the given number is divisible or divisible by what four or not. So, what is the rule for that? Is if the number formed by the last two digits of a number is divisible by four, then the given number is divisible by four. Okay. See, what is the meaning of this? Come, I'll explain you. See, come, we'll take one number, six hundred and thirty-two. What six hundred and thirty-two? We should find whether this number is divisible by four or not. Okay, whether the number is divisible by four or not without doing division. So, what is the condition? Is we should take the last two numbers, thirty-two. What is the last two numbers? Thirty-two. Okay, last two digits, and we should check whether it is divisible by four or not. Thirty-two in four table, it is there. Okay, four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Okay, what? Yes, four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. Four sixes are twenty-four. Four sevens are what? Twenty-eight. Four eights are thirty-two. Okay, so it is divisible by thirty-two. Is divisible by four? No. Yes. So we can tell six hundred and thirty-two is also divisible by four. Okay. Understood. So, what we should do? We should see for divisibility by four. We should take the last two digits and check whether it is divisible by four or not. Okay. Come, we'll do the assignment eight. Okay. Circle the numbers which are divisible by four. Okay. See here, so many numbers are given here. Large numbers also there. Small numbers also there. So, what we should do? We should take each and every number. Okay. Come. One has done for you. Come, we'll go to next. Okay, number. What's the given number? One hundred and twenty-eight. What is the given number? One hundred and twenty-eight. Okay. In this, what's the last two numbers? Twenty-eight. What's the last two numbers? Twenty-eight. Yes, it is there in four table. No. Yes. Four seven sa. How many four seven sa? Twenty-eight. Okay. So we can tell this number is divisible by four. Okay, so what we should do? We should take the last two digit and check whether it is divisible by four or not. Okay, that is, it is in the table four table or not. That is the thing. Okay, 
So, what is the next number 125? What is the last two digits 25? It is there in 4 table? No. So, it is not divisible by 4. Next 216. Take that last two digits 16. Yes, it is there in 4 table? Yes, 4 4s are 16. So, this number is divisible by 4. Okay. Next 335. Last now 2 digit take 35. 35 in 4 table, it is in 4 table? No. So, we cannot tell, we, we can tell that we cannot divide 335 by 4. Okay. Come, we will take the next number 112. Was the last 2 digits 12? Okay. It is there in 4 table? Yes. 4 3 is a what? 4 1s are 4, 4 2 is a 8, 4 3 is a 12. So, this number is divisible by what? Divisible by 4. Okay. So, in this is the way how to find whether the given number is divisible by 4 or not. Come, we will do the this number 6013. Whatever the big number, even though it is a big number also, we should see only the last two numbers and we should check whether it is divisible by 4. 13 is there in 4 table? No. So, we cannot, we can divide this number by 4. Okay. Understood children. So, this is the way how to do, how to do divisibility test by 4. Okay. So, come we will see the next test, test of divisibility by 5. That means, we are going to check whether the given number is divisible by 5 or not. So, what is the condition is, if a number has 0 or 5 in its ones place, the number is divisible by 5. Okay. So, this and all you can no need to do this in your class work. By observing it itself we can tell. Okay. By observing the number itself we can tell whether the number is divisible by 5 or not. Okay. See here circle the numbers which are divisible by 5. So, many numbers are given here. What is the condition? If a number has 0 or 5 in its ones place, 0 or 5 in its ones place, the number is divisible by 5. Come, we will take the numbers. Look here, 37. See here, the number in ones place is 7. So, it is not divisible by 5. Here, the number in ones place is 2. So, it is also not divisible by 5. Here, the number in ones place is 5. So, it is divisible by 5. It is here the number in ones place is 8. So, it is not divisible by 5. See here the last number should be 0 or 5. So, it will be easy. We can't do easily. Here 5 last number, here 5 last number, here 5 0 so last number, here 5 last number, here 0 last number, okay. here 3. So, it is not divisible. Here 1 not divisible, 0 it is divisible, 0 it is divisible, 1 not divisible, 7 not divisible, 0 divisible, 0 divisible, 98, 8 not divisible, 5 divisible. So, the last number should be 0 or 5. Here the number should be 0 or 5. What? The, even though it is a big number, see only the last number that means the number in ones place. Check whether it is 0 or 5, then the number is divisible by 5. Okay. Come, we will do that. What? Go to next page. Okay. Test of divisibility by 0. So, what is the condition? If a number has 0 in its 1's place, that means it has 1 0 in its 1's place. The number is divisible by 10. The number is divisible by 10. Okay. What is the assignment? Assignment by 10. Circle the numbers which are divisible by 10. So, what we should do? We should check the number which are all having 0 in its ones place. Then we should circle it. Very easy, no? See, the number should have in this way you should do the remaining sums. In this way you should do the remaining sums. Okay. See, see the number, check whether the last number is 0. Then you circle that numbers. Okay. The remaining numbers you should do. Okay. Understood children. Now, we are going to learn about multiples. Okay. What is multiple? 
See, when we multiply a number by any counting number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like that, like that we get a multiple of a given number. Okay. When we multiply a number by any number, okay, even by 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Look here, we are now we are going to find the multiply of multiple of what 7, 3 7. So, we are going to multiple, multiply it by 3. Okay, 3 7 is 21. So, 3 is multiplied by the counting number 7 to get 21. So, 21 is a multiple of 3, it is a 7th multiple of 3. Okay, okay it is a 7th multiple of 3. See, 3 tens are 30. So, 30 is the 10th multiple of 3. Also, 30 is the third multiple of 10. Okay. See here, 5, 6 are 30. So, 30 is the 6th multiple of 5 and 30 is the 5th multiple of 6. That means, it will come in 5th table as well as in 6th table, 30. No, 5, 6 are 30, 6, 5 are 30. So, we can tell that 30 is the multiple of 5 as well as 6. Okay. See, 2 15s are, look here, 2 15s are 30. That means, it comes in 15 table as well as 2 table. 2 15s are 30, 15 2s are 30. So, we can tell 15 as well as 2 or both are multiples of 30. And we can tell 30 is the 15th multiple of 2. And 30 is the second multiple of 15. Okay. So, that is nothing but multiples of 2 are nothing but 2 table, no, 2 1s are 2. So, the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, these are all the multiples of what? 2, okay. Multiples of 2 are nothing but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, like that it will go on or multiples of 2. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, like that it will go, okay. Multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, like that it will go, okay. So, this is how, the way how to find the multiples of 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. Okay, children, come we will go to the next page. So, in the same way we can get multiples of other numbers. There are endless multiples of a numbers. In mathematics we say there are infinite multiples of a number. Yeah, if, so if suppose you take uh, 2 multiples of 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. No, like that, 2 5s are 10, 2 6 are 12, like that it will go, 2 11s are 22, like that, 2 20s are 40, it will go up to infinite, ok. So, a number will have an infinite number of multiples, ok, understood, it will have infinite number of multiples. Multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number, so the mini, what smallest number is the number itself, ok. So, look here, I will take the multiples of 2 means 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, like that it will go on up to infinity, up to infinity, it will go on, ok. And each and every multiple is what? Uh, greater than or equal to, see this is multiple of 2, we are seeing about multiple of 2 is equal to. So, each and every multiple is greater than or equal to that number, ok. See, it starts from 2 and all, all number, all other multiples are greater than, ok, or equal, so, start 2, 4, 6, like that, ok. And every number is multiple of itself, ok. Look here, the multiple of 2 is, it includes 2 also, ok. And it is the smallest multiple, so the number itself is the smallest multiple. All the numbers of multiples of 1, yes, 2, 1s are 2, like that, ok. All the even numbers are multiples of 2. All the even numbers are multiples of 2. Okay. Come we will see assignment 11. Tick the number that is not a multiple of given number. Okay. Tick the number. See here the first one is done for you. We should tick the number which is not a multiple. Okay. See 5. What is the number given here? 5. So, in 5 table what will come? 65 will come, 25 will come, 74 will come? No. So, we should tick it. 30 will come, 105 will come. Okay. In 6 table, next is 6. We should see 6, 6 or 36. Okay. 6, 6 or 36. That we know. And 16, it will come in uh, what? Uh, 6 table? No, no. Okay. So, we should tick it. Okay. And 42, yes, 6 7s are 42, 6 3s are 18, 
6 5s are 30. So, which is not coming? 16 will not come. This is not the multiple of 6. 16 is not the multiple of 6. Okay, children. Come, we will see the next one 7. Okay, 7 2s are 14. 7 7s are 49. Okay, 4 7s are 28. Then 7 8s, what? 7 8s are 56. Okay. Then 32. 7 1s are 7. 7 2s are 14. 7 3s are how much? You tell the table, then you can find whether this is the what? Multiple of 32 or what? 7 or not. You should know the tables. Then only you can find whether the number is multiple of that number or not. Okay. So, 56. 8 7s are 56 and 32 is not the multiple of 7. It will not come in 7 table. Okay. Understood? Very easy, no? So, we can find whether the number is the multiple of the given number or not. Okay. Understood children? Come, we will do the second main. Select the correct number from the brackets and write in the box. Okay. Select the correct number from the brackets and write in the box. First one, 4 is a multiple of 3, no, 2 twos are 4, yes, so it is a multiple of 2, ok. Now, next, 9 is a multiple of what, 2, no, 5, no, 9, 9 ones are 9, in 2 table 9 is coming, no, in 5 table 9 is coming, no, so in 9 table it is coming, 9 ones are 9, 7 is a multiple of 6, no, 1, Yes, 1 7 saw 7. 8, no. 1 7 saw 7, no. So, 1 is the multiple of all the number. Okay, all the number. 18 is a multiple of 16, no. 8, no. 3, yes. 3 1 saw 3, 3 2 saw 6, 3 3 saw 9, 3 4 saw 12. What? 3 5 saw 15, 3 6 saw 18. So, it is the multiple of 3. Okay. In this way, you should check whether the given number is a multiple of the number or not. Okay, understood children. Remaining sums you do.